call it, there were local influencers, content creators, Miss Marifel, Miss Abby, and Sir Kino. And uh, as what Miss Marifel mentioned earlier, uh, yung mga tao around her would certainly inspire her to come up with certain contents, no? Kailangan lamangan or kayang dapat kayang gawin yung magagawa ng ibang tao. All right? So let's hear it this time from Sir Kino. I hope his audio is okay now. Sir Kino? <laughs> yes, sir. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me okay? On uh, Facebook Live, um, we are having technical difficulties. Am I audible? Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. So um, what draw inspiration in me is uh, the people that I um, inspired uh, with as well. So that's uh, the kind of Francis Ong, ba, um, Bo Sanchez, Coach Chot Reyes. So those are the kind of people that I am actually inspired of. For the company, I am inspired with the story of Jollibee on how they actually boomed. So um, the, the how they started from uh, a simple parlor, uh, ice cream parlor shop. And right now they boom. Um, yeah, so those are the kinds of people that I am inspired doing of. And um, um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Being unique and a quality content. Um, sometimes I, I don't actually write, I force myself to write content. Um, it actually depends on my mood. So when I'm inspired with the music, then I write contents depend on the beat of the music. I write content based on the movies. So those are uh, where I drew my inspiration. So it really depends on how you are able to deliver quality content. Because mm -hmm. um, it's really hard for uh, this kind of uh, industry that I'm in to have content. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Okay, there you go. And uh, thank you so much for that, sir. Uh, of course, still the people and some influencers as well who also influence you to come up with your own content. And lastly, can you hear from Ms. Abby, please? Yes, yes. Um, hello again. Um, my inspiration for um, this um, when I started Laga Wonder was my parents because my parents love to travel and take photos. Um, and ang siya una, panakbala guys, siya develop na panakbala ang pictures. So we have lots of albums here sa, sa balay. And I, and I like screen, um, scanning through it. And um, I, want, I want to become like them na, to travel and see the world out there. Na, and that's why I'm sila akong inspiration. And also, for now, my inspiration sa akong na page is my advocacies so that I get to um, reach more people so that more people can be reached by advocacy, uh, can hear about our advocacy such as um, about adoption of dogs, um, yeah. like donation drives, um, the, um, um, yeah, kapon, kapon of dogs and something like mostly about dogs and helping people because that's um, I think one of um, um, pursuing this passion is to help people and also supporting local businesses. Okay, I love that. Thank you so much, Miss Abby, for sharing your inspiration and trying to come up with quality content. Okay, so we'll be skipping the next question because I think you can wrap it up in your advice later on. So let's move on to our fast talk. Okay, so I'll be giving you three options. For each one of you, you have uh, three things, not to weigh, right? So we'll start with, um, what's in your back? Ito. Sir Kino first, followed by Miss Marifel, and last we have Miss Abby. Oh right. Sir Kino, are you ready for a fast talk? Hold some yes, boya bunda, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Sir Kino, let's start. We have three at okay, least set of uh, fast talk questions. Sir Kino, Facebook, Instagram. Instagram. Blog, vlog. Vlog with a V. YouTube, TikTok. TikTok. All right. Thank you so much. Ayon. They talk more of their personality, no funny own preference. In that. Let's move on to the second one. Miss Marifel, ready? Ready. Sure. 
<laughs> Again, wholesome tayo today. <laughs> okay. Food, fashion. Fashion. Video, photo. Video. Local, foreign. Local. Ayon, syempre naman, local tayo. Support local, guys. Local creators. Yeah. And uh, let's move on to Miss Abby. Ito. Miss Abby, beach or mountain? Mountain. Android, iOS? Android. Solo or group? Solo. Ah, diba? as, as she mentioned earlier, diba? Ano yung chat in your words? So talk to me about their personality talaga. But we have here, milky or chocolates though? Okay, so to our viewers, you can tell who's there, your... your milky with chocolates. <laughs> okay, ano um, chocolate milk tea. Yeah, chocolate milk tea will do. Correct. Okay, so to to wrap up everything, guys, we'd like to hear your message. No, we're about to end now this session. So, what can you advise to these young aspiring vloggers or influencers in social media, especially to our students who are watching right now? So, yeah, let's start from our teacher. All right, or a multi a multi talented artist, Miss Marifel. Wow. <laughs> okay, for aspiring vloggers and influencers, take note of these tips. Uh, just like what I said, you must be yourself. And others said, of course, the students earlier in the morning, sang now they have their their chance to express what they like, or uh, they, they their ideas. They said, mana, you must be yourself. Yes. Find and create your goal. You need to be courageous, uh, brave, creative, patient, and smart. And then be consistent and expand your network. Okay, kahit na mawala kayo, you have to go back to your objective. You have to go back to your purpose. You have to go back to your goal. Kasi pag if you if you have a very solid goal, babalik at babalik ka pa rin. Okay, it will guide you. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, okay. Virtual round of applause to Miss Marifel. Yes. So be yourself, be authentic, go back to your core, you know, as a person, your goal, your character, talaga. Next, Sir Kino, please. Yeah, all right. So um, my advice to young aspiring vloggers or influencers in social media, um, my advice is to be true, uh, be mm-hmm. genuine, um, you always have to tell your story. Um, you might, uh, being an influencer is not about uh, being popular, as what I've mentioned earlier, but it is all about being an influence to others who are dreaming. Um, draw inspiration to someone who shares the same struggle that you have been through, um, pe- that people could relate with you. Or um, be a sunshine. That's what I mentioned earlier. Be a sunshine to someone, and uh, be the reason. Kung bakit sila bumabangon araw-araw. Yeah. So yeah, don't forget to smile always. It's never too late to inspire and to share positivity. So inspire before you expire. There you go. Thank you so much, Rikina, for being an inspiration to to all of us this morning. And of course, lastly, our Lego Wonder. And we have a message from Chippy Pie. Thank you, Lego Wonder, for supporting local business. Okay, your turn now, Miss Adi. Okay, okay. My advice for the students and for those who are aspiring to be bloggers or vloggers or to be in social media um, content creating um, is to be authentic, just like Miss Marifel and Miss Miss Sir Kino said. Be authentic, so you want to be able uh so you so you will have to express yourself um um genuinely and be passionate about what you do and be consistent and as a uh, catriona gets oh oh yeah catriona said says right um be an influencer with a heart um yeah now bring your values with you um so that uh in the kamobala ma uh, you will not be able matapak na iba niya tao or anything um just be um you, you are true to yourself as well as you are being uh you have values na ginapa influence iba niya tao so um i think that's all 
All right. So bring your values with you all the time. Thank you so much once again to our local content creators and influencers. Ms. Marifel, Ms. Abby Serkino, thank you so much for gracing our thank event. You, thank you. And to show our gratitude to all of you guys with here our virtual uh, certificate. <laughs> Okay. Yay. Certificate, muna tayo. Okay, virtual, uh, no, receiving like earlier. Okay. And right now, to show our appreciation to our guests, certificate of appreciation is given to the following speakers. First, we have Miss Marifel Chavez, Mr. Kino Ramtafalia. And Miss Abigail K. Pabular. Once again, let's mm -hmm. give them a virtual round of applause, everybody. Maraming maraming sila matushare your knowledge, expertise, and of course, your experiences as content creators, local content creators. I hope we could have more like you guys, no? Mm -hmm. Content creators with heart, does I mean, Miss Abby earlier. There goes so maraming maraming salamat, guys. I really enjoyed our conversation this morning. Grabe. So we are done with our two sessions. So we have the ITP forum and for the second one, how to be an influencer. And right now, uh, to gather insights no, from our... Um, okay, are we moving on to the insights now? Okay. So to share their insights regarding uh, the first and second uh, sessions for the ICT Career Forum, let's hear it from Mr. Khalid Perin Manahan. Um, a pleasant morning to everyone. My name is Khalid Perin Manahan and I am the representative from the Grade 10 Batch. First of all, I would like to thank all of our hosts for their substantial talks. I am truly honored and grateful for this opportunity to learn from everyone. With this, I would like to share some of my insights um, on the topic uh, we had discussed. According to each host's individual talk, for example, this talk, um, when he was asked the question, the thing that really hit me the most was just be proud of your differences. It's because your differences are what makes you special. You should be proud of them. And, you know, you may experience some difficulties, but these difficulties are your stepping stones to self-development. And it really hit, uh, it really hit close to home to me because I have a lot of self-doubt. And, you know, hearing... Uh, hearing from someone who had a TED Talk is like very inspiring and to be from the same school is a very wonderful experience and something that <laughs> I'm very happy. It's because, you know, I, I am from the same alma mater and to see a fellow student from Taitong to achieve such in such measures, it's like you are proud. It's because... He's uh, from the same school. And one more thing. Question, uh, which was uh, advice to ICT students uh, when taking ICT uh, courses. Uh, Mr. Francis's uh, advice was to choose what you love. Um, it's very important to choose what you love. It's because... It's never about the income. It's never about the fame. It's all about being passionate in what you do. It's because without passion, how are you supposed to be doing anything? So I really put it into mind uh, being a student that's in visual media arts or uh, visual graphics design. It's very important to just be yourself and show everybody what you're capable of. Um, next is for Mr. Mike's talk, Mr. Mike Vincent Vicente. Um, the thing that I liked the most from him answering the questions was how he developed self-confidence and love for computer, techno uh, computer uh, in technology in general. Um, he said that through being immersed in many experiences and the uses of the different softwares, constructive criticism to be specific, and 
because of all of these, he developed love because he saw the, the he saw the process of how he came so far. Um, as also a former student athlete, it's really important to always remember your roots and where you came from because without of uh, without your roots, without your uh, past experiences, you always um, you always have to you know come back and learn more from your experiences. So it uh, hit me deep that I should not take the past for granted and I should always uh, love myself for whatever I did in the past. And if I ever did something wrong, I should always reflect on it. Uh, next for Miss Mariella's talk, I really liked everything from the answers to just her way of talking it's like the confidence is there um the one i like the most is of course her advice to ict students it's because i really like that she said cut out the negativity and spread positivity it's better to be positive because since we're online it's never nothing's ever sure sometimes class gets canceled sometimes you're you hit like a roadblock and sometimes you uh, have a hard time like doing tasks or even just doing your chores at home. So it's better that when you wake up, just smile and just look at everything that's happening around you and accept it as a challenge and motiv motivate yourself. Uh, next is for Mr. John uh, Lester Cartel. Uh, in the first question, of course, we couldn't hear his answer since he was, I think, inaudible. But for uh, the question, uh, how did he develop self-confidence and nothing in technology? I really liked his answer because, you know, even just engaging in different softwares really helps you more, uh, helps you become more immersed in the subject. And, you know, having this new info, uh, it makes you... You know, it gives you that sense of power that your skills have now advanced and you have the power or the knowledge to educate more people. And last but not the least, for Mr. Christian Vaughn's answers, um, I'm really interested when he said that, uh, when he said uh, uh, the thing about work immersion. I really caught, uh, it really caught my attention is because uh, even now, I have a relative that's in senior high. So right now he's experiencing work immersion and, you know, just uh, looking at him work and make uh, resumes and things like that. You know, it's better. It's somewhat kind of like an OJT, but for senior high students. And it really will help you develop self-confidence and give you a little bit of experience for college. So, and in conclusion, the only thing I can say that all their answers and the experiences that they had shared really uh, have, it really rubbed on me. And, you know, I should uh, focus on developing myself because everything happens because it's all about self-development and love and just being happy to whatever you're doing. Um, I am truly delighted. I uh, delighted and I would like to thank our hosts for sharing their knowledge and experience and perspective in choosing courses in relation to the topic of our career forum for today. May this talk allow us Titanians to explore more opportunities or do something extraordinary in our careers, not only as students but also adults. Even if it isn't even if it isn't necessarily going to be in our comfort zones, it is certainly better to explore our choices in life and make the best of them. That will be all. And once again, a big thank you to Mr. John Francis Palacios, Mr. Mike Vincent Vicente, Ms. Mariela Criachco, Mr. John Lester Cartel, and Mr. Christian Vaughn Gedalanga for each of your exquisite talks. We have learned a lot, and we appreciate your time and effort to enlighten us on this topic. Once again, thank you very much. All right, thank you so much, Khalid, for that substantial and comprehensive wrap up of our first uh, session. And right now, to tell us about uh, the summary of what happened in our second session, please welcome the Grade 12 Governor, Mr. Martin and Joshua Uli.
Hello, 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 people. Am I am I audible? Am I? Uh, can you can you guys hear me? Well, I suppose uh, they can hear me. All right. So, wow, just wow. I am speechless. I don't know what to say. You know, like it really struck me the most on the ideas of how can you become an influencer. A pleasant morning to all of you. I am Martin Joshua Uy, your grade 12 governor. Anyways, I would like to start off by saying thank you to all of the guest speakers today from comedian and YouTube blogger, Ms. Marifel Chavez, from the marketing head, Mr. Kino Tafalia, and the brains behind Lago Wonder, Ms. Abigail Pabular. This has been such a momentous opportunity to hear from all of you and to look at how to become an influencer. Social media is ever-changing, ever-growing, and ever-expanding. Every single time we have seen changes in these platforms, and this platform became so ubiquitous. As what Mr. Kino said, social media is a changing world, unpredictable in the sense that with a snap of a finger, you can become viral. We cannot deny that there are also some issues like cloud chasing. As what Ms. Marifel said, it is sometimes a toxic trait that you want the attention of everyone. Well, it varies. And as what Ms. Abby said, it varies. And we just really have to be responsible when we chase everything. Kaya nga, when making contents, we have to stay true to ourselves. The saying that really gave the most impact is, be yourself. It's the authenticity and the quality because if you love what you do, you have the passion for making that video. Then you have that factor to inspire and to motivate. You know, community service is so important today because each one of us has our own time to shine. We are all born to be somebody, as what Mr. John Palacios has said. Always bear in mind that it must be good. It must be wholesome. It must be motivating. And you have to consider yet again the quality content. Beyond everything, being respect, being respectful is of utmost priority. Being genuine also is important because one post can either make or break yourself. Of course, being an influencer is not just about being popular. It's about how you can make an impact to everyone. Being courageous, be brave, and always go back to your main purpose as what they always have said, as, they what, as what they highlighted. Be that sunshine, as what Mr. Kino said, be that someone who can always inspire your family, your friends, your classmates, your circle of people to keep moving forward. And that is really the support system that we need right? because pandemic this pandemic has taught us a lot of things and one of them is that friendships are very very important and you have to be that support system you have to encourage you have to motivate because being an influencer is not just about you know making contents in youtube or something like that it's about how you can make that change and once again dream big and never say never thank you Well, I love that. Dream big and never say never. Thank you so much, Martin, for that. And of course, Khalid. And we have a comment here from Mom Ruth earlier, actually, that our students have improved a lot in terms of speaking. I'm actually eating chocolate right now, but that's a good boost, more energy. Okay. So, uh, and right now, we'll be announcing the winners of our digital poster making contest and traditional poster making contests. Okay, third place for digital poster, we have Trent Daniel Real, great for Everlasting. Congratulations. <laughs> Next. Second place, we have Danica Isabel Calau, grade six, Anthurium. Congratulations, Danica. <laughs> And first place for digital poster, we have Reese Eliza Cecil Berina from Great Four Mongol Mongolia Magnolia. <laughs> All right.
For traditional poster, third place, we have Rayanne Grace Gonzalez from Grade 6 Marigold. Second place, we have Adrian Kate Barbadilla from Grade 4 Snowdrop. In our first place for traditional poster, we have a like of faith, La Chica from Grade 6 Anthurium. Congratulations to all the winners. Wow. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've already announced the winners and we've heard a lot of things from our guests this morning. And to officially end our session for the ICT month 2022 with a theme click optimizing ICT literacy and skills. We have our student development office head, Ms. Maureen Mahika. Ms. Mao. Okay. Great. Can't you see me, sir? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just wait long. Hello, Miss Mao. Are you there? Okay. Uh, please turn on your camera, Miss. And while we are waiting for Miss Mao to give her closing remarks, I'd like to thank once again our guests this morning. Maraming maraming salamat talaga, guys. Starting from the ICT Career Forum, we have Mr. Jan Francis Palacios, Mariela Cliachco, Micah Vincent Vicente, John Lesser Cartel, and Christian Von Hedelanga. Thank you so much, guys. And to our second session, we have How to Be an Influencer with our guests, Marifel Chavez, Pino Remtafalia, and Abigail K. Pabular. Thank you so much. I hope that our audience now is able to learn something from them and if they're planning to become an influencer just like them you can follow their tips and of course some tools that they're using to produce their contents on social media and do not forget also guys to subscribe to my youtube channel that's jake aragon <laughs> all right so i do have there my travel vlogs and anything anything under the sun all right Okay, I think Ms. Nao is not with us right now. All right, so while you're waiting, I believe that uh, in behalf of Ms. Nao, maybe we could have our ICT head, no, Sir Lander, to give us the closing remark just to end our program this morning. All right, thank you to all our viewers. And to all the teachers who are still tuned in to our live up until this moment. And uh, right now. Okay. I I'd like to give a shout out Mina, while we are waiting for our um, speaker. All right. Miss Lala, thank you so much. Elise, thank you. Who else do we have here? Mamlani, Mamru, thank you for tuning in. Who else do we have here? Uh, Camille Maurice Catalogo and uh, yeah, everybody who tuned in to our live this morning on the Facebook page of the Student Council Organization. Okay, ICD friends, do we have Miss Mao right now? Okay, so in behalf of Miss Mao. Oh, okay, so Miss Mao is still preparing her camera right now so while we're waiting for miss mao guys i'd like to uh, invite i'd like to take this opportunity to invite all of you guys to witness one love year three this is the annual gathering of taitungian performers it's going to be on february 11 brought to you by taitung senior high school so we will witness the talents the hidden talents of our 
students in Taiding Senior High School. So we have prepared performances for you that you will truly enjoy. This will serve as our Valentine treat to all of you guys. So we are now on our third year and you have to watch out for that. So just tune in to our Facebook page on Titan Senior High School for updates for One Love Year 3. And right now we have Miss Now finally. Uh, Miss Mao, you're on mute. You're muted, Miss Mao. Uh, can you turn turn on your your audio, please? Okay. So we are still waiting for Miss Mao's audio. Thank you, Miss Lani, for the feedback. Thank you, ICT Busog na Busog, for all the inspiring insights. And congratulations now to ICT and to all the winners coming from Ms. Lala Kleach. Okay, so we are still waiting for Ms. Mao's audio. And guys, don't forget to support our inaudible dose miss now. Don't forget to support our local influencers, guys. Do follow them on Facebook. Kinos, no? First, her Kino Tafalia, Miss Marifel Chavez, uh, on her vlogs. As you can see, naman, she's very funny. And of course, Lago Wonder by Miss Abigail K. Pabular. Okay, so I guess we need to move on and officially close this program by singing our alma mater song. 